And I sealed it in, okay? Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this and get this all ready. There's nothing more important out of any of the things that you do is a centering. Centering of this would be the most important thing that you figure out how to do. And this one takes a long time for you to figure it out. You need to pick it up really quickly. <laughs> then she's like, uh huh. I still have problems. The one trick that I'll tell you that my dad does, my dad will heal. He will throw and he uses both his arms like this because he's a man and he knows how to do it this way. I can't throw like that. I'm sorry. I just can't. So what I do is I cheat. Since I use most of my back on anything I do and uh, most of my muscles and stuff is from the center of my uh, center of my body and everything, I put my elbow right up against that hip and I'll lean in and I'll use my hip and my back to apply pressure onto the clay. I'm not exerting a lot of muscle arm, arm muscles. I'm not exerting a lot of things. I'm using my hip and my back to move inwards. Okay? And this is usually what I teach my other students to do and everything when they all learn and stuff like that. And you'd be surprised how quickly the girls will pick it, pick it up and start doing that. Alright? Now, another thing is, is when you are centering, the important thing is, is to learn to float away. Okay? Because I'm telling you, if you turn around and you center like this, and then you jerk away, look what happened. Is that center? You're beating yourself up if you keep doing that. So you learn quickly to float away. Alright. <laughs> and you'd be, you'd be surprised how many people do that. I mean, they really do. They do a lot of it. If you had clay that was not centered, your hole will not be even. Because when you do a, uh, when you do this and you try to do an uneven hole, this is what you get. Okay? It's like a rhythm. You learn to develop it. And it is just so easy to get distracted and jerk away and uncenter your hole or your or anything like that. So, you know. Alright. <laughs> now, we are going to widen our hole now. Thank you.
So he gets to do this any time he wants. I don't have it. Can you get it too wet? Yeah. There is a such thing as getting it too wet. That's the reason why I'll go in there and I'll soak up the water on the bottom. Yeah. As soon as deer season's over with, I'm going to try. Can you use that mustache or something? Yeah. You look different. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Brett. Yeah. <laughs> I made me mad the other day and I smacked him. Snapped the plum off. <laughs> smacked half of it off and had to shave him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe he made you mad. He's mad about that. <laughs> All the time in the world now, I'm retired. Can't mess with me anymore. Get out of here. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, no, please stay. Aggravating <laughs> some more. <laughs> aggravating like, That's my job. Gives him more time to make me stuff. <laughs> So one day oh, we had a little squirrel, out with the for a squirrel oh, hanging from it. here. Um, fishing from mud cat. That would be in a photograph. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I took a picture through the window because yeah. I didn't think I'd believe it. How do you make such a long tube? I mean, that's Actually, we have an extruder. Okay. Oh, okay. And it squirts out the tube and you shape it from there. Oh, okay. And that's pretty much your whole life. Oh, decorations and cut yeah. the pines. Yeah, well, no, I think like that was uh, okay. six or seven. This one, I added a leaf to it. For a perch for the bird to sit on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I liked it so much, but I could right. never learn from my dad. Really? Is yeah. it, it hail resistant? He was always he was hail resistant. Always expecting. Actually, I have not tried that. Was. <laughs> you know, he was always expecting yeah. more kids and stuff I mean, like that. As resistant, no, yeah, how strong. Well, it she even said yeah. that stage that you know, touched her camera. I want to make sure it was just so. I was like, you know what? I'm not telling you. It depends whether it's a great kid or not. So I started learning from a girl named Pam Summers, which was also his teacher. And uh, I got into it, and I really enjoyed it. Now what I'm doing is I'm trimming off this excess so I don't have to deal with it later. Some potters will leave that excess on and then when they make a foot they'll, tr they'll turn around and try to trim it off. Me, I'm sorry, I'm impatient and I just don't, when I want my pots 
off of there. I want them to look finished. So, yeah, I'm one of those impatient ones that uh, does that. Okay. Now, is that a bubble in the side of it or something? Ah, club. Yes, it is. Great. See, that's a sweet. Now, maybe it'll shrink down and I'll try to poke a hole in it. The bad thing about bubbles, and I'll let you know right now, the bad thing about bubbles is that if you try to fire it, mm -hmm. it'll bust that piece out. Right. Yeah, because you're going to leave a giant airspace in there. Yeah. Sometimes it'll, they'll, it'll cause them to bust the pieces all over the place, but if they got away from that air to escape and stuff, you can pretty much... It depends on how big the bubble is. If it's a big bubble, then yeah, yeah, you better go fix that because either that or it'll ruin your pot because it'll Can you bust. work it out going up and down with some stuff? Or? Sometimes if they're small bubbles, yeah. yeah. If they're large bubbles, not. Large bubbles will cause them to blow up in the kiln. Because you're talking about trapped air that is uh, uh, turning into gas. Expand the hotter it gets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is when you it, it does it it'll cause it to try to expand, but your clay is trying to shrink. So, yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and design it. If it breaks, it breaks. It doesn't, doesn't. That's one of the things. And I'll tell you right now. Wedging is a potter's worst enemy. They do not like wedging any more than anybody else because it's a pain and it takes time and they're ready. Is that what, over there? Yeah, that's what you know what I was doing. Working that, working the bubbles out. Of it, yeah, so. I was working the bubbles out, but uh, you know sometimes you just don't get them out all the time. Right. Another thing is, is it depends on who Probably does it. Probably depends on the clay too. Huh? huh? Probably depends on the clay too. No. Really? Pretty much the clays, no. It's the way they've been made. Hmm. If it was made that way, the, the pug mill didn't get all the air out. What it is, is it pushes all the clay into a ball where they can slide it into the plastic and stuff. But uh, sometimes I don't work out that way. We used to make our own clay for a long time. Well, it will be. Um, the reason why I say that is because I have never found the use of uh, a raku bowl. I mean, if you can't use it, then what's the point of having it? I can understand, you know, bases and stuff like that being pretty designs and everything. Because I guess I guess it's because I'm used to it and everything. But as far as bowls, those are something that everybody uses all the time. So I just don't see the purpose in it. Oh, great. Alrighty, there we go. Great. Now, 
we'll let that sit for a while and dry and, you know, <laughs> come back about a couple of days later and there you go. Make it look so easy. Oh, it took years to do it to make it look that easy. <laughs>